Rolling. G'day guys, welcome back to Beers and Break Evens, the late show, no splinters here, no sitting on the fence, it's a rock and roll version of Supercoach. It's the T20 of Supercoach, T-Rex. Mate, it's that opportunity to show our true colours, our true Supercoach knowledge, because there's no preparation, we don't know what the questions are going to be. You get called out for the fraud that you are. We saw that last week. I love this concept. <laughs> it is unreal. I absolutely love it. And at the helm, you would have seen her on Instagram last night, the fucking Catalina wine mixer. <laughs> She's really coming into her own and finding some yeah. form. How are we, Kat? It's been a few hours. Yes, yes, yes. I'm good. I'm good. Look, I didn't make the kangaroo tour. I didn't get the call mm. up to the team, despite a really good preseason performance, I thought so. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. you have called me a 5'8", but that's fine. There's always next year. I've been preparing for this moment because I knew you'd be rolling in off the plane today and I think we're ready for a for a good show. I called you, uh, he's 5'8", I've been copying that for two years. I'm glad it meant so, uh, it was so genuine. You're both my Sean Rudders, okay? No. I'll, be th- I'll be the fullback. Was that a knock on our door? I think, was it? Yeah, I'll be ignoring that. Okay, <laughs> Katmandu, you have got the questions. I do. Concept, mate, uh, one minute to answer these questions. We have 30 seconds each. The second that 30 seconds finishes, we, as we both don't know it, we move on. We're both timing each other. Whoever gives the best answer, so be it. Yeah. Scissors, paper, rock to kick her off? Yeah. Scissors, pa- Oh, God. I, ha- I, hate that the, weird I hate the way you do it. You ready? Scissors, paper, rock. Okay, ready? Scissors. Scissors. Oh, sorry. You want to do it again? Are you okay? <laughs> Just fucking with him. Did you go. sleep on this flight or not, mate? <laughs> Let's Take go. Take a few endones. You do it. Scissors, paper, rock. Scissors, paper, rock. Fucking coward. Jeez, talk about rattle me. <laughs> Jesus. Let's go. Let's do a cut. All right, all right, all right. Okay, question. Hey, what are you going to kick or receive? <laughs> I'm going to receive. Okay. Shotty the first hit up. Sure. All right, let's go. <laughs> question number one. Thoughts on Zach Labart? I uh, don't have his price in front of me. I actually don't have my laptop in front of me, which really hurt me in this segment. <laughs> uh, big fan of Zach Lobart, have been for a long time. Can anyone give me a price on him? Anyone in the room? Anyone Mate, in the I room? don't need my laptop. This is uh, your question, so you've got yeah. 15 seconds to go. Yeah, you did your hour and a half show last night while I was asleep. Um, I'm not starting with him, but I can understand if people do. Um, I can't remember his price, so <laughs> take it away, nerd. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, I don't need my laptop, so I'll shut it just to give you a bit of a hand, mate. He's around about $434,000 to start this season, playing on the right edge for the cows. Uh, I just think Val Holmes gets a lot of ball on that left edge. And my other concern with him is that Scott Drinkwater loves going left right with that cutout ball to his winger, felt named over Valamai. I think he's a solid play. Cows have a good draw, no early buyers or anything. So I'm not keen on him, but looking forward to watching him. You can put your tr- your uh, laptop next to my trophy if you want. Cut, <laughs> next question. Tim's turn. Next Stone. question. Run which combo? You've got Hines, Levi and Penasini or SJ, Arpi God. and Tologi. <laughs> can I get a repeat, please? Hines, Levi, Penasini or SJ, Appy, Tologi. You got twenty seconds left. I'm gonna go the Heinz option. Why? Because firstly, I don't know who the, who Tologi is, so that doesn't help me. Yeah, well, but, is that Kelma? Who is it? I've only been provided a surname. Murray Taolungi, okay. maybe. Murray Taolungi, I would Which say. Just with appalling spelling. I'm going yeah. the Nico Heinz combination. Guru, go. <laughs> Oh, 28 seconds. Yeah, I'm going to also go the Nico Hines option. Um, if for nothing else but captain's options, I want Nico over SJ. Mm. Um, so definitely the Hines one for me. And what about the other two with Hines? Thoughts on them? I just prefer Hines. <laughs> Next card. Hines it is. Okay. There's obviously a lot of questions that have come up about Piakura, both of whom you, you both had him. Mm. Uh, so I guess the question is, should we be worried about him? What should we be doing with him given concussion protocol, the HIA, everything like that? Let's talk about it. What do you mean what are you going to do with him? When are you going to sell him after week one because he got a head knock? Like it could happen to any player in any given week. Uh, he's got a bit of a history of them. I get that. You knew that going into this. It was always a little bit of a risk. He's in a very good side. He's got a very good 5-8 inside him. He'll, he's just as likely to score 100 in two weeks' time. Selling him makes no sense to me whatsoever. It's one bad score that just about everyone had. Shut up and deal with Moving it. Moving on. on. So the second Kurt Cape will sign with the Warriors last season. It looked like Pete Crew was going to be the starting back rower there and he was in my team ever since. Mid 400K, he starts so cheap. Um, and then just to double down on it, in that trial scored two ripping tries and looked sensational. I think Adam Reynolds threw in one of those balls. 
as Guru said, he got a concussion. It happens. You bought him for a reason. Stick by it. 11-day concussion protocol. The Broncos play on that day. He should be good to go regardless on the holding. Well done. That was great. Okay, straight into the next one. Thoughts on Jacob Little as a reserve hooker? Uh, he, I had hey. him last. Oh. Yeah. Oh. That was it your turn? Cut my grass, mate. Off you go. That's Jacob half of your 30 seconds yeah, already gone. Jacob Little, look, he's coming. He's under an injury cloud coming into the season anyway. He's still in doubt for round one. They've named that Connor Molhuizen on the bench. He can play hooker as well. If he was fit and firing and good to go, I actually don't mind the play. He's a good attacker, could have played decent minutes. Too much of an injury risk though, so I'm going to look elsewhere. Oh, hi on Jacob Little now, are you? Shock me. Straight out of the Guru Black Book. Um, yeah, not keen uh, with the hooker on the bench. I can't do it, uh, which is where it shit the bed for me last year. Uh, very talented player. Got a heap of ability, but with the 14 there, I just can't do it. Once again, might be one of the better picks of a really, really, really shit bunch. But once again, I'm not wasting money on hookers that I don't want this year. Were we checking the time on that one? It felt really long. No, no, he's all good. Oh, he's okay. all good, yeah. Fair enough. All right, guys. The ultimate professional, cut. <laughs> you give each other a lot of crap, right? This person wants you to spend 30 seconds saying what you admire about each other. His brother was a good footy player. <laughs> 27 oh. seconds to go. <laughs> Fuck, God damn it. Um, oh, I don't know. This feels uncomfortable. I don't like this. Um, I like the super coach advice that Timmy gives. He's helped me on a number of occasions. I like that Timmy always answers my Friday 5.55 p.m. phone call of panic too, which we joke about, which is normally true. So that's my compliment to you. I didn't enjoy that at all. Uh, Guru trims his beard well. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, how much longer do we have? Uh, Guru often shares my posts on his stories to his 8 million Instagram followers and then I get new followers off it. Uh, Guru, <laughs> Guru, being the social media expert that he is, is very generous with his time, Cat, and he, he has helped me out a lot in the last few years and helped me grow my following and spends a lot of time doing that to me. So he's not a bad bloke, the Roo. I like how you both started with more superficial, but then it ended up being very heartfelt. I had to after he said something half nice. That was 45 seconds too, so I, I just, and let, he you just let it roll. And he didn't stop you for that one. I love it. Okay, straight back into it. Is Will Penasini a genuine pod this year? Yeah, he's a genuine pod purely because he's got such low ownership. I actually don't mind him. He looked terrific in the trials. I thought Parramatta looked good. I thought Mitch Moses took a lot of ball off Dylan Brown on that right edge where Pensini will be. Look, not someone that I'm going to go with just because he's at an awkward price, but look, he's got a lot of potential, a lot of attacking potential. I hadn't put much thought in him, but not the worst play, but not for me. Yeah, I don't really like it. He definitely is a pod play because not many people have him. But obviously, what makes him a pod? <laughs> um, but yeah, not for me. As good as he looked in the trials, I just I hate relying on Parramatta outside backs. I just can't do it. Um, and yeah, I feel like with Pensini, like he's if he doesn't score, you're looking at like a thirty to forty, which isn't bad to be fair. But I just think in like I think he's a great draft player, unreal draft player to have. Classic wise, I think you just want to chase a higher ceiling than Pensini. <laughs> Fair enough. And there's a question if Supercoach scores applied to Vegas, what would the kangaroo have scored? <laughs> oh, God. Not as high as others. I wouldn't have been a captain option, I can tell you that much for free. Um, I would have given myself a solid 62 would have been my score from the weekend. Timmy, what do you give? Yourself. <laughs> Timmy, what do you, what do you give Guru based on what you saw? 62 is gun territory. Mate, I, there's about... I was in four, Vegas for seven fucking days. There's about 40 seconds to play. I'm going to throw, use my throwback card that's just been created. Um, can you rank the boys over there in their super great schools? Tom and Eddie, Hammy. <sighs> oh, I was really hoping you wouldn't ask me this. Um, I think that uh, Eddie probably knocked up a century. Yeah. Eddie was in some very fine areas. One of the safest captaincy picks of all time. Very safe captaincy pick, yeah. Tommy, I'd say, probably got into the mid-80s. Um, Hammy was in very good form. Hammy yeah. was hilarious all the way through. Probably didn't reach the absolute ceilings of Tom and Eddie, but I'd have Hammy at about a 70 or so, maybe a 75 mm. around that mark. Uh, Ella was very good as well. Ella, actually, I'd probably push Ella into the 80s or 90s. She was in very good form. I was walking down Las Vegas Boulevard at one point and this old man just jumped in front of Ella and goes, 
I fucking hate Manly. <laughs> and just walked away. <laughs> I was fucking scared the shit out of Ella. It was fantastic. Who else? The bloody brilliant beers boys. They would have scored well, uh, as they always do. They have a red hot crack. So, uh, but mate, I think top scorer for the week, and he would have been what was Turbo's highest score in 2021. 242 or something. 243 was Scotty Bellotti. My <laughs> God. My boy hasn't slept yeah. in a week. He had yeah. a red hot crack. And then two nights ago, I was standing <laughs> on Las Vegas Boulevard. They came over and said hello. Uh, him and Nilso from Newcastle and whatnot, talking to the boys. And I looked down and there's Scotty Bellotti on one knee, tying my shoelace up for him. And I thought, oh up for me, I thought, God. what a specimen. I love this fucker. He's hilarious. Yeah, he's a good man. I've run into him in the shy a few times, Scotty Bloody. Yeah, he uh, he's he's been quite shy the few times I've met him. Mm. <laughs> Bloody <laughs> Vegas, it's different. Yeah, <laughs> tying up wild. your shoes is definitely not giving shy. Mm. All right, one more footy question, and then yeah. I've got another surprise right. for you. But who is the best replacement for Josh Curran given at TLT? Uh, well, I guess it depends who you have and do who you don't have. But um, I I also assume that both Moore was. Very mm. highly owned. So he'd probably be the one that I'd be looking at. If you don't have Smitty's, I think he's a great get. And obviously, Heel and Lukey's popped up over the last few weeks as well. So a few options there. I think it just comes down to what your squad looks like, right? Yeah. And you've, you've sort of touched on the main ones there, Guru. There are so many options you can go to in the mid range um, to our F spot, which is fantastic. And the other one that popped up, we had a good chat about him on beers and break evens. But Joe Chan, Alex Chan, Joe Chan. Joe, Joe Chan, Chan. Yeah. Joe Chan. Uh, if you can go down to, or of course you can, go down to Joe Chan, can free up a lot of cash that you can fix up some problem areas, whether that's spending up at hooker, whether that's doing it at 5.8, CT dub, whatever it might be, uh, that's a good option too. I'll tell you who the little wild card is that I thought in the trials he looked unreal with, Bryce Cartwright. Mm. Imagine starting with Cardi. Jeez, he looked good. I think I did it last year. I was very happy with him, Cardi. So yeah. he's obviously more expensive this year, but... Yeah, I don't know. He looks really good to me in the trials. It feels so wrong, yeah. but could be anything. <laughs> could be anything. The 29-year-old. Right. <laughs> and the answer to this last one could also be anything, guys. One of the most hotly contested questions out there. I'll start. What is the best shapes flavour? Oh, chicken crimpies. Mm. By like so far. I'm sorry. Do we just have an... I feel like he might agree with me. <laughs> it, I think by so far it is not funny I think I'm going to argue that shapes are potentially a little bit overrated for you know their place in history. Chicken crimpies aren't their sensation. I think if it wasn't for the chicken crimpy, shapes wouldn't be on the map still. Yeah. I think it's what's kept them afloat, to be honest with you. I think a lot of people would edge towards pizza, which I think is a really shit mm. take. I think it is crimpy every day of the week. Um, who asked that? Have you got a name there? I do. What is a crimpy? Is it the shape of Booze, the shape? Booze Tiger. Yeah, Booze shout Tiger. out to Booze Tiger. Um, not your greatest question, I'm not going to lie, because I think it's so obvious. I do too, but I'm also it's, keen to get the feedback of the it's punters. Not, it's not obvious. What's yours, Kat? Uh, look, I was raised on barbecue. Oh. I know. I was raised, I didn't have a choice. I was a kid and my mum did the shopping, that's what was there. And then the day that I tried chicken crimpies for the first time, I felt like I had been betrayed by my mother. Yeah. To me, that's like asking who's the greatest Newcastle halfback of all time. Shout out to you, Jacko. You didn't make the cut. It's Joey. Joey is the chicken crimpy of the shapes. Yeah. No, not Do you know my only issue with the chicken crimpy is the size? What's your issue with it? The, the, the chicken crimpy itself is a lot bigger than the other types. So it's like you don't – maybe this is just a me thing, but I, I feel like I've eaten so much when I eat the chicken crimpies. They're less of a snack, more of a meal. I still but, fail to see the issue. Yeah, I do, uh, how's this a negative? Jeez. I <laughs> like the chicken crimpy minis. They they hit different. Anyway, you know what? I think that is the end of the show. How, how many flavours are there? There's barbecue, pizza, pizza. crimpy. What else is that? They, oh, they have a ham and uh, cheese and bacon one. What colour is that? Uh, if they look like the pizza ones, but they've got... I'll tell you what threw me in America. Have you tried the... the uh, I think it's Vegemite ones. They're actually... Lit. I hate fucking when they do shit like that. They what threw me in America is like... All their chip flavours and shit, like, the colours are completely different. Yeah. Oh, like, like, a lot of their salt and vinegar over there is blue, similar to, like, Pringles here, and it just yes. really hit, hit me for six, really yeah, threw me it's out. Yeah, it's actually 
it's really disappointing when you walk down the aisle and you have a certain craving and it's so hard to find what you're looking for. Very tough. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll tell you what I did have over there, which I don't know if we still have them in Australia, but I was walking home one night drunk as fuck and grabbed a packet. Packet of Lay's. Do we still have them here? But isn't Lay's just rebranded to something else here? What's Lay's again? Lay's is like we, we, I remember Lay's we had them when I was like a kid. Lay's are like the non-crinkle cut chips. They're yeah, the, they're, they're like just the like flat flats. Chips. I, I don't think we have. We used to have them here. Oh yeah, yeah. Because um, you'd have the um. They used they they were big in the period where Star Wars came out, and you used to get the uh, light and tangy Lay's. Yes, that one. They still yes. do them. A light and tangy Lay's. No, they're Smiths, aren't they? No, I don't know. I don't. Oh. Know. Lay's were mad though. I got I got a packet of barbecue Lay's. They <laughs> were hectic. Yum. Very good. Yeah. Are we done? I would think we finished up a while ago, to be Short honest. Short and sharp, 30 seconds each, five minutes on chicken crimpies. That was yeah. good. I backed that. All yeah. right. Go listen to SC Playbook. What did you talk about last night? you got 30 seconds. Darusi, Spy on deck. Mate, we did a did a huge team list Tuesday, deep dive, chatted Vegas games, uh, a few other, bunch of questions in there as well. Obviously always different uh, to the Beers and Break Evens episode, quite different shows. It's team this Tuesday, baby. The first one of the year we had yeah. to touch on it. One hundred percent, Katmandu. We'll mm-hmm. see you next week. Oh, I'll actually see. We'll see you during this week. Yes, you will. I've actually got to talk to you about that. Okay. Um, and I've got to run to about even now. So we will see you when we see you. Bye, guys. Welcome.